Hello, you are welcome. How to solve this nice math problem involving square root? Here, let's write this again as 2 raised to power. Here, we have root 75. Let's write root 75 again as root 25 times 3. Root 25 times 3. We can separate this and this will be 5. Root 25 is 5. Root 3. So instead of writing root 75 here, we can write 5 root 3 raised to power 5 root 3. Then multiply by 8 raised to power also root 27 can be written as root 9 times 3. And uh, root 9 does 3. That will be 3 root 3 from here. Then that will be 8 raised to power instead of root 27, that's 3 root 3. Then divided by, from here as well, we have 4 raised to power root 48. And root 48, let's write that as root 16 times 3. So we have 16 times 3. And root 16, that's 4. That's 4 root 3. So now we write 4 raised to power 4 root 3 from here then all raised to power we have root 3 over 12 so all raised to power root 3 over 12 from here then in the next step we can simplify further and uh, express each of them in base 2 so we have 2 raised to power 2 root 3 5 root 3 rather 2 raised to power 5 root 3 then times 2 raised to power 3, then raised to power 3 root 3, 8 is 2 raised to power 3, then divided by here as well, 4 can be expressed as 2 square, then raised to power 4 root 3, then or raised to power root 3 over 12, and uh, in the next step, from the law of indices, this power will multiply from here. This power multiply, this power multiply, and this will become 2 raised to the power 5 root 3 times 2 raised to the power 9 root 3, then divided by 2 raised to the power 8 root 3, then all raised to the power root 3 over 12. And uh, in the next step, we apply the law of indices from here, same base, then we can have the power here. So we have 2 raised to the power 5 root 3 plus 9 root 3, then divided by 2 raised to the power 8 root 3, then all raised to the power root 3 over 12. And uh, when we simplify this, when we add this together, that's 2 raised to the power 14 root 3. So this gives us 2 raised to the power 14 root 3. Then divided by 2 raised to the power 8 root 3. Then all raised to the power root 3 over 12. And also from here, also applying the law of indices. Since we have same base and they are dividing, it means we can subtract the power from here. We have 2 raised to the power 14 root 3 minus 8 root 3. Then all raised to the power root 3 over 12. So when we subtract this, we have 6 root 3. So that's 2 raised to the power 6 root 3. From here, let's solve it here. So we have 2 raised to the power 6 root 3, then all raised to the power root 3 over 12. And since this power also multiplies from here, we have 2 raised to the power 6 root 3 multiplied by root 3 over 12. Here, this root 3 you multiply to 3 and that's 3. Here we have 6 here we go 1, 6 here 2 and that will be 2 raised to the power 3 over 2. 
root 3 times root 3, that's 3, that's root 3 over 2, and uh, which we can write as square root of 2 raised to the power 3, and uh, which can be written as square root of 2 times 2 times 2, which is the same thing as square root of 4 times 2, and root 4 is 2, then we have root 2. So now the result or the answer from here is 2 root 2. And we have come to the end of this program. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and turn the notification bell on in order not to miss out. Also like and share, give a thumbs up, put your own comments there, the way of solving it in your own way. Thank you. See you next class and bye for now.